Here's a great idea for your next outing. A cruise of the L.A. Harbor on a Spirit Cruises yacht. Spirit Cruises offers everything you need to relax and enjoy your time on the water. For more information, call 310-548-8080 or visit spiritmarine.com. Welcome once again to yet another Thrash Pie Radio podcast. You may already know that these podcasts are being produced in order to document the history of the Pure Rock format on KNAC-FM in Los Angeles. And that little 1,000-watt radio station was the first commercial station in America to adopt a full-time format featuring heavy metal music. Sounds easy enough. You take a radio station, you start playing some great music, and you're all set. Think about that one a second. This thing has never been done before, particularly at, uh, at this level, on this stage. The project has to function as entertainment for an audience, and uh, that audience doesn't yet know it even exists. And it has to function as a business. So what KNAC is on the verge of becoming has to be made very clear for potential listeners and advertisers. So that job fell to promotion director Tom Marr, who got his marching orders from general manager Gary Price in a closed-door meeting just a few days prior to the format switch. And he said, so let's come up with, you know, what the slogan is going to be, what the look is going to be, what, how we're going to be advertising this and get ready to drop the ball. It's going to be next week and to be working on slogans and stuff like that and how we are going to introduce it into the marketplace and to drop a press release and to, oh gosh, come up with, uh, that's where we kind of, the birth of the, the pure rock slogan came because it was meant to entail all rock and just pure rock. And it didn't matter if it was Metallica or ACDC or Ted Nugent or whatever, but a pure rock format. So Tom had to name the baby, so to speak. And as image is almost more important than anything else, Tom had a hand in creating what proved to be, arguably, two of the most successful marketing tools in radio history. The big, bold, black and white t-shirts that we had at the time. And so what the general idea was, let's go in and we don't have a big campaign, but bumper stickers are cheap. And we're going to just deluge L.A. with the KNAC bumper stickers. KNAC was in the very fortunate position to find itself smack in the middle of the L.A. metal scene in the 80s. And that allowed us to be part of a great musical scene. And the events were incredible, like the summer of 1988's Monsters of Rock. And Tom Mars' promotional savvy showed itself in that instance as high art. That was the first time, I think, where we debuted the KNAC balls, those two helium balloons. Yeah. Right. So, and KNAC has the balls. <laughs> Just yeah. look for KNAC's balls. <laughs> I'll have more about the balls, the monsters of rock, and the tremendous support the great musicians showed our little station next time. So thanks for checking us out, and keep an eye on your Facebook page for yet another Thrash Pie Radio podcast. <laughs> <laughs>